What's up guys, my name is Jake from Fish Tech, and today we're going to be taking a look at some CPU benchmarks on the new M1 Pro 14 inch and M1 Max in the 16 inch. Now if you look behind me, you'll see we have a couple other computers there. We also have my 15 inch from 2018 with an i7 Intel. Um, and that's going to give us a good benchmark to go off of just from the past couple of years. And then we also have an Alienware X17 that has an 11th gen Intel i7 11, 11800H. So that's going to be a great benchmark against a modern, very popular new CPU to go against the new Apple Silicon. Okay, just really quick, the Alienware X17 is going to be plugged in the whole time. The rest of the computers are going to be on battery power. I think that's going to show you just how crazy these performances are going to go. So we're going to set all these up. And now we can sit back and check out what is going on. So just taking a look at these benchmarks, um, it's honestly very impressive. Both the 14 inch and the 16 inch Pro and Max scores are incredibly impressive. Keeping up and even surpassing the uh, Intel i7 11th gen, um, very impressive results. All right, our next test is going to be Cinebench R23. All right, let's freaking do this. The three more powerful ones have finished. The M1 Pro has got a multi-core score of 95.52, pretty impressive score. While the 16 inch got 12,366, very good score. And finally, the X17 got 14,023. So that is very, very impressive. And finally, back to the 2018, it got a score of 6,121. Okay, so for this last test, we have a blender render. It is an animation, really is a beautiful animation, especially on this screen with how uh, color accurate and bright it is. And it will play the animation with absolutely no hiccups, super smooth. Can't say the same for my old 2018 MacBook Pro. Uh, it is very, very choppy. But on the Alienware X17, it does also play back full speed, no hiccups. Very good experience. So what we're going to do is we are going to render the animation and see how quickly these computers can perform. We'll get a stopwatch going. And... Let's go. So after all those benchmarks finished, the slow boy i7 2018 MacBook Pro took 18 minutes and 39 seconds, while the M1 Pro and the 14 inch took eight minutes in 19 seconds. Pretty dang good improvement so far. The M1 Max did it in five minutes in 10 seconds. So pretty substantial improvement upon the M1 Pro rendering some 3D graphics, but the X17 with an 11,800H in it and a 3070 took just two minutes and 50 seconds. And I was like, what the heck is going on? Uh, because that is over 60% faster. And in the other tests, they were trading blows with each other back and forth, and performance should have been pretty similar. And I was thinking because the macOS version of Blender can only render using the CPU and not the GPU, I thought maybe that the GPU um, rendering was turned on on the X17, but I went back and checked and it was not on. And in fact, I turned it on and it finished even faster at two minutes in 25 seconds. So that's pretty crazy. So maybe if there are some Blender folks uh, that are watching this video, you can comment down below um, 
maybe what's going on here because I'm honestly not sure. It just seems pretty bizarre to me that, you know, on a, on a Windows machine with a similar CPU, uh, it would be over 60% faster. But that just goes to show you, uh, these Apple Silicon are fantastic at specific things things i mean it was still a, a very good experience um using blender and it was very smooth just the render times are gonna be a little bit longer um, compared to a device like that and the last thing to consider is that while these images and animations were being rendered and these benchmarks were being run uh, the m1 pro and the m1 max were completely silent and they were on battery power which is pretty insane. So I did actually test the X17, um, unplugging the power, and the performance was better than what I was actually expecting. I was expecting it to drop by like 50%, um, but it only dropped about 25%. The real issue in doing that is that the battery life was only gonna last about 45 minutes. <laughs> so. When comparing that to the capabilities that these new M1 Pro and Max chips bring is that you get that power and the portability, you don't have to be tethered to an outlet, uh, and that battery life is going to be absolutely bonkers in comparison. That's gonna be it for the CPU benchmarks today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like. If you're looking forward to more M1 Pro and Max videos, make sure to subscribe. And if you have any other suggestions, comment down below. Uh, we're gonna be testing a bunch of stuff. We got a bunch of more videos coming out soon. So uh, just let me know what you guys are looking for. Thanks. Peace.